Hey, beautiful beings. Welcome back. Today, I'm trying to make a bottle of cardboard because I seen the bottle wood. They had wood bottle shapes on Dollar Tree. And of course, on you know, online. So I went to my Dollar Tree and of course, they didn't have them. So I was bummed. But I'm thinking we can make our own shapes out of cardboard if we could just get the sides the right amount, you know, of width in the bottom. Just get this part down. This one, I pretty much got down, okay? Just simple round bottle here. But when I cut it out, I'm gonna have to make sure these are the same so it don't look screwy. Same amount on each side and then just a simple round bottle at the top. But this one's getting me. <laughs> this one's getting me. I want it kind of round, you know, going out kind of round, but I can't get this part down. But you gotta make sure it's even on this side and this side and this side and this side. I started with a square and then I went round, so I think I'm going back to the round. But I just wanna make sure it's at the same level. Am I even saying that right? The same, the same, it matches. The same amount over here and over here. Okay, I think that's about good. It's kind of hard to do it on camera. But I got two different bottles here. It takes a lot of racing, but try it. I think you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. And I think I got them leveled now. I might have to fix this. It's kind of hard to see on here, but kind of like how that goes up and then up. But get it to do it on the other side to match. Yeah, that's the that's the hard part. Getting the two sides to match. But once I get one down, I'm gonna keep a memo. <laughs> So I have it, so if I want to make another one, okay? All right, I just wanted to show that, and after I cut these out, hopefully, when I cut these out, they will be even on both sides and look the same, okay? Okay, beautiful beings, I want to show you a trick. See how lopsided that is? <laughs> All right, I got it cut out, but it's totally, everything else is fine. The body of it, is fine of the bottle, but the neck is totally off. So what you can do is what I did is I traced it. I traced this side because I like that side. Or was it this side? No, nope, I traced this side. Okay, just half of it, and then I stopped. Okay, then I flipped it over. Okay, and then I started the other half, and then. But now it's even, okay? I just wanted to show you that little trick. All right, and this, I think I got the sides. The length of it's good, but I'm still having problems with this because this didn't turn out very good. As you can see there, it's not even in the middle, but I think I'm gonna go with this. So I'm just gonna lay that there like that. But I'm gonna have to erase I gotta make sure it's lined up here and the one in the middle of this side and that side because this is not in the middle. This neck of this bottle. But I want that in the middle up there because I'm gonna erase this and I think I'm gonna go with this side right here. Like that. And then I'm gonna flip it. Make sure that's in there somewhat because that's not the same shape. And then I'm gonna do it over here. And hopefully when I cut this out, it will be even, okay? I just wanted to show you that. So if you cut one side that's wonky, you'd see it better on this. One side's wonky and one side's not, you can use that, just flip it and do another. And keep your demo <laughs> for next time, okay? Like on this one. I like that side. I don't like that. Okay? 
Okay, beautiful beings, I just wanted to show you. I'm gonna paint this side. This is the side I'm not painting. I'm adding Lodge Bodge just to the neck. That's it. And this will stable it, I think, to make it so it's not wonky. Because it's a little, you know, I don't like that. So I'm just putting a little bit up here and then a lot right here to stiffen it. I think that will stiffen it and it will help. So when I do put paint on the other side, the neck won't be so, you know, do, 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 do. <laughs> okay, I just wanted to show you that. And I got the shape down, it's not perfect, but at this point, <laughs> I don't care. I got a bottle shape, that's all I care about. And here's the other bottle shape. So we got two bottle shapes. And I can raise this up a little, show you. And those are the two shapes I got. I got a round one and kind of a square one. Okay, and then when I paint these, I'll be back. Okay, beautiful beings. I got my shape. <laughs> it's good enough for me. <laughs> okay, so I got one round one and I got one square one. All right. I'm going to take this one and I'm going to paint it with bronze metal for that one. And this one, I'm going to do metallic Christmas green and pearl white and I'm going to mix them together because I don't want it that dark. So I'm going to mix it in with green. That'd be too green. I just want a nice little. <gasps> Another mess, beautiful beings. All right. I don't know why that did that, but it's okay. This one will be an easy cleanup. Put it back in the bottle. Just put it back in the bottle. white mixed in there so I better get some white down there because I don't want it so green and that should cover it that should be enough to cover it and I forgot to shake that's another thing shake your paint <laughs> shake your paint because if you don't you'll never know what happens with your paint so I'm gonna mix all this and they're both metallic I believe this is metallic too Yep, metallic finish. I just want a lighter green. Cause you know, you see those green see-through bottles. That's what I'm going for. Now we got a clump there. Let's get this done up here. And make sure you do the sides. Don't forget the sides. This is way too big for camera. <laughs> right now, see I did that with my nail. Put an indent, so beware of that. But, all right. Let me get the paint cleaned up off the table. And we'll go to our next bottle. And off my hands. <laughs> okay, beautiful beings. Just a reminder to erase your pencil marks. Okay, I forgot to do that here. So I'll probably have to put something darker there. And I'll just highlight the bottle a little bit somehow. Sorry, the phone rang. Okay, we're gonna use our bronze metal. Make sure you shake your paint up. I don't know how much of this we're gonna need. And this metallic paint, as long as you clean it up right, as soon as you're done using it, it cleans up very nicely. Then I'd tell you that. But make sure you clean it up as soon as you're done using it. Okay, let's bring this up here. I don't I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just experimenting 
we put all the, see my nail keeps leaving the mark, I keep forgetting to put it flat. But we're just like this. I don't know if we'll do anything, but we'll find out. And I'll leave that, cover where my nail is, and I'll be back. Hey beautiful beings, I'm gonna show you this. These are from Artie Mays. If you go to her Etsy channel, you can download digital. She'll send them to your email and you can buy stuff and send her a cup of coffee if you just de download these, okay? All right, and the reason I'm showing you is because these two skulls, I made these ones a little bigger. Okay, and I put them on regular paper because I'm, I'm using a napkin of Marilyn Monroe. This is a napkin. And so is this, and I just peeled the back off. Now I'm gonna modge bodge this, put her face over it, and it'll show right through, okay? But I have to make sure it's lined up perfect. Like her nose, so I can move the skull around. So there's her eyes and her teeth. See, her eyes on the eye, her nose on the nose, and her mouth is on the teeth. And I want it right there. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of Maj Baj right there because I know I got it lined up. Okay. Now I wanna line this one up. Like I said, you can move the skull whichever way you want to make it line up. There. Her mouth is on the teeth, her nose is on the nose, so I want that there. So I'm just going to put a little bit in the middle because that's where I want it. Doesn't matter if you go up, but you got to be careful that the don't stick to the table. And I don't want this wrinkled. <laughs> I don't want this wrinkled. And it's starting to curve. Probably should have used the regular card stock, but I didn't. I just thought it'd be easier if I got this down. See how it's showing through? So I might as well continue. But I don't want no wrinkles. That's why I'm doing a little bit at a time. And I don't want this to rip either. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna leave her hair on or not. And I just want a tiny bit of Maj Baj. Just a tiny bit. See, it shows right through. But I don't wanna get those bubbles out. push too much because I don't want the tissue paper to tissue paper I don't want the napkin to rip okay so there's that one now we'll finish this one just a tiny bit of Maj Baj the top first Not really rubbing hard. Don't want, ah, oh, see, if you rub too hard, that's what happens. I don't know if I can fix that. Hopefully I can. I'm not gonna be able to. Dang it, but don't rub too hard, cause that's what will happen. I can cover that up. I got something. I'm gonna cut this little moth out right here. I'm gonna cut that out and I'm gonna put it on her hair anyway. Now we're gonna do this, and I think I'm just gonna lay it on. 
don't want too much, much, much. So. Gotta be. It's really, really delicate. Okay. There we go. And I'm not gonna push down yet because I wanna wipe up that glue off the table. And then I'm just gonna gently push the wrinkles out. Gently, gently. There's a bubble. Now her face is getting all wrinkly. I don't wanna give you wrinkles, Marilyn. <laughs> And there's that one. Okay, I'm gonna set these aside because now I got a, another thing I wanna do. There's so many wrinkles. I did not want to give her wrinkles. Okay. Alright. Now I got these, and the plan is, I got these, they're funny too, these, now where's those at, I got these from Navachpatch.com, Navachpatch, sorry, Navachpatch.com, okay, they're free printables, give her email, buy her a cup of coffee, she'll send it to your email, and you can print them off. Okay, but okay. which is which toes, goblin guts, flea brains, fish, fish ears, orc taffy, and worm skin. Very creative of her. <laughs> but I wanted to put the slug butter on this one, but it's not. The word's not long enough. I don't think. Oh, it might be. Hey, it might be. I was thinking it wasn't if I just move that over. Hey, that will fit. All right. I made this one up. Snail oil. These are two more of hers. Snail oil and frog butts. But the frog butts, I'm going to put up here. I mean, you can't see the whole thing, but you get the idea. But I'm going to put that around the neck of the bottle. And then I'll show you how I... Send them out. This will work, I think. This will work, I think. Just want to make sure it's straight. If I trim it down, it should work. Straight, and let's see. Get these out of here. I could just bend it, like. I'm gonna make it look like it's going around a bottle though. That will work. I can just move it down over here a little bit. The R. I'm trying to get that R, that's why I didn't use it. Because I had too many letters. Next time I'll have to remember to make a thicker neck for the jar, for the bottle. That'll work though. Then I took this and I didn't know heavy it was going to go on. This stuff is very vibrant in color. Very vibrant. But now that I already did that, I'm going to get red. Hang on. I forgot to show you. This orange. I said it was vibrant. It's rip. Persim. 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 I hope I say that right. These stress. Okay. It's very vibrant. Okay. That's for that neck. And then this is recollections. And I think it's red. It might be maroon. But wanted to match her lips I don't know if it's going to but oh yeah no match so I'm just inking that up I'm not doing ends because I'm just gonna wrap around the bottle but I wanted the slug butter one <laughs> still see the word okay it's going around the neck of the bottle okay so what I want to do with the bottles is 
take this. I already have something to set them on. This is rose gold. Remember we painted this with bronze metal. Now we're taking rose gold. And I'm just going to go around the edges with my finger. Now, I'm going to do the green one. This one, I'm putting pearl white around it. And they're both metallic. These paints also. I did this, I did the other one. 